Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here, coming at you from the Knife Center. And this weekend we're running a sale on combat and tactical knives. We've got a ton of items that are marked down, and I've pulled just a few of them over from our warehouse here so that we can check them out. First up is a classic design from Kershaw that actually made our list of the top five best Kershaw knives in the past, and that's the Blur, designed by Ken Onion. This one features a BDZ-1 blade with a Tonto profile and a tiger striped finish, making it look really cool and it's just an awesome shape for all around use as well as tactical applications. Like the rest of the Blur lineup, this is a liner locking folder that features an aluminum frame with some grippy inserts that provide a little bit of extra traction. It's an assisted opening knife, but you don't get a flipper like a lot of designs nowadays. Instead, you get thumb studs. But that's okay, because this is actually a really great implementation of thumb studs, thanks to this diagonal cutout. The way it's shaped, it catches your thumb very naturally when you go to open the blade. Next up is a knife from another family of Kershaw knives that is quickly becoming a new classic, and that's the Natrix, specifically the Natrix XL. We've got a black coated 8CR13 blade here with a shape that sort of defies categorization. You might call it a drop point. You could also think of it sort of as a modified Warncliffe. No matter what you call it though, it's a knife that can get a lot of work done and it has a very nice point for detail work or piercing. This version features OD green G10 handle scales, as well as Kershaw's patented sub frame lock mechanism, which allows them to keep the weight down because you don't have a full metal back frame and just the metallic piece for the lock bar itself, which is anchored to the G10. You get all the benefits of that frame lock without the weight. Where some earlier versions of the Natrix family came with a speed safe assisted opening mechanism, this actually comes with a KVT ball bearing pivot. And that's okay too, because the action is just as good. Next up, we've got another Ken Onion design, and that's the CRKT Home Front, featuring a Tonto blade with partial serrations. The blade on this knife is black coated and actually comes laser engraved with the Blade Show 2017 logo on it. This was a limited edition knife that was only available at the show. But because it's been a little while since that's passed, we've marked these down to a great price. At just under 50 bucks, this is the easiest and cheapest way to get into this high quality field strip mechanism that CRKT debuted with this knife. That system is another in a long line of innovations from Ken Onion, and it allows you to take this knife apart and put it back together with no tools required, and it's very easy to do so whether you're at home or in the field. Next up, we've got the Browse Blade Silent Soldier Flipper an imported knife that's actually an adaptation of Jason Browse's first fixed blade design. It features a blacked out D2 Warncliffe blade with a very large finger hole right here, but that's not actually for opening the knife. It's designed to fit your index finger through when you're actually wielding it. And because of the way it's integrated, it makes it very safe to use when you're putting that fine point to use. The other advantage that this type of construction gets you is it folds up nice and compact in your pocket. Doesn't take up a lot of room, because in this configuration, it's essentially a three finger knife, but becomes a four finger knife when you open it. So I always like to end with a couple of fixed blades. So first up is the SOG Seal Pup. This is a scaled down version of the Special Forces buoys that were popular in the Vietnam War with its signature multi-clipped spine. It has a very nice grippy glass reinforced nylon handle. It is a full tang knife hidden of course underneath that. There are a few advantages to that type of construction. You do of course get that grip, but you're also not putting your hand on bare steel at any point, which means that especially when it's cold out, you're not having to put your hands on that steel, making it more comfortable to use. We've got a sub five inch blade of OS 8 steel, and it features a coating as well. And unlike some coatings that add a lot of texture, this is actually very smooth, so it's not really gonna impede your cutting efficiency all that much. In fact, if I didn't know any better just feeling it, it actually looks and feels an awful lot like Teflon. This knife comes with a very sturdy nylon sheath, which has a loop here designed to hold the handle in place that features both a snap as well as Velcro. We also get a nice Velcro pocket on the front of the sheath for storing items such as either a sharpening stone, fire starting kit, or any other sort of small gear. And you can use the integrated loop to wear it on your belt, but it's also Molly compatible, which allows you to attach it to the rest of your tactical gear with ease. Overall, it's just a great little tactical knife Works well as a primary carry or as a backup, and at these prices, you can afford to put them in a lot of different places, packs and kits where you might need one. Finally, we've got the CRKT Crawford Casper Dragon. This was a knife design originally created by Bob Casper 
after studying instances of extreme in-close knife fighting. It was originally made as a custom version by Crawford Knives, and now you can get it in the production form from CRKT. The balance of this knife lends itself well to easy handling. The mass is centered right there over the hand, and you have a nice integrated sub-hilt here, which gives you plenty of security when you're engaging with that blade. It's a very acute point, which allows it to pierce very efficiently, and the angle of it is designed to present very naturally when you extend your arm. On the other side of the knife, we've also got an exposed tang that's sticking out, which allows you to use that to concentrate your force in much the same way a kubaton would when you use that for striking. This knife comes with a very nice injection molded sheath that has plenty of attachment options to facilitate however you wish to carry. So these are just a very small sample of all the great items that we've got marked down right now for our combat and tactical sale. If you like what you see here and want to get your hands on one or want to see what else we've got for sale, click the link in the description below to head on over to knifecenter.com.